Hey everybody, Captain C.A. Richardson here from Flats Class YouTube and the new Flats Class University. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best popping cork rod on the market. And that's this falcon rod right here that I'm going to share with you. Stay tuned for the details. So you might ask, what's with the pop and cork rod? You're a guy who throws just artificials. You finesse fish. You sight fish. You don't throw pop and corks. Well, contrary to popular belief, there are times when popping cork fishing really does outfish any other style. Recently, I just got back from Louisiana. And while I was out there, I had a couple of my custom spoon and plug rods that I like to throw quite a bit that have a little bit more backbone. And since probably 85% of my clientele are spinning rod folks, I worked with Falcon on this new 7 foot 4 uh, Coastal Clearwater rod that has a, a 10 to 20 pound line weight and, and more or less a quarter to three quarter uh, lure weight. But what I found with this particular rod, because of the seven foot four length, is the fact that it could really sling these cork rigs a long way. And you can see, if you look really closely, you can see the teeth marks in this cork. So these indestructible corks that H&H &H makes, they probably weigh three eighths of an ounce or so. And then when you mate that up, with a little eighth ounce jig, and this is a three inch minnows, this is the purple death from Z-Man. When you make that up, you probably got a, a rig that weighs three quarters of an ounce. So it's at the upper range of this rod. But because I only put 15 pound uh, suffix braid on here, and I've got it on a 4,000 reel, which has a much larger arbor, I found that we could cast this thing literally a country mile uh, down the edge of the marsh and then had just enough flex and deflection in this particular rod that it would plunge <laughs> and make crazy amounts of noise in all those bait fish schools that would just drive the redfish crazy. Now let me show you the details on the specs for this rod. All right, here's my setup. 4,000 reel. This is the SWS-74MH from the Falcon Clearwater series. You can see it's a medium heavy, but it has a medium flex, which allows you to really plunge that cork. It's a seven foot four rod that has a quarter to three quarter ounce lure weight, but I can tell you from personal experience, I think it's closer to a three eighths to seven eighths rod. Now here's what we've been catching bull reds with. This is an H and H cork and you can see it got hammered. I mean, it's, it's got this titanium wire that runs through it. It's got a uh, washer, some brass beads, some plastic glass beads, two heavy duty swivels that are crimped on. This thing's outstanding for taking a beating and catching fish. But that, that likely weighs upper between three eighths and maybe a half an ounce almost that particular cork. Then I've got a little eighth ounce. This is a, a little headlocks jig that Z-Man makes. And this is their latest, one of their latest colors. This is the Purple Death, which is purple with a little hint of chartreuse in it. Um, it's a great little bait. It's, got, it's a very robust hook. And the headlocks really keeps the Z-Man plastics on there. With 15 pound braid, this really does an outstanding job, this rod, for those of us that enjoy popping cork fishing. And I really discovered it by accident. But after using a little bit, now we may add that as part of one of our classes uh, when we do some redfish stuff at Flats Class University. This entire outfit is probably going to be a headliner for us because when you're anywhere where the, the number one go-to technique is pop and cork fishing, this is an excellent alternative. Now let's wrap this up, guys. I bet you didn't see that one coming. A pop and cork technique tip? From Captain C.A. Richardson? Well, it happens. And when it is the most effective style in a given area, I'm telling you, that little tip will serve you well. Before I let you go, I want to let you know a little bit more about Flats Class University. This is an online fishing school that is absolutely free. And we're going to probably put all the videos up on waypointtv.com first, and then they'll move to YouTube. 
but I want you to continue to subscribe to YouTube and tell all of your friends because a lot of those little clips that are coming from Flats Class University, we're going to put them on YouTube as teasers to get you guys to go over there and watch them. So stay tuned for some really good stuff coming up from mid-October on to the end of the year. This is something that's been a big focus here at Flats Class and we're going to push it pretty hard. Anyhow, thanks again for all your time and all your support of Flats Class and Flats Class University coming up. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson, signing off.